Cocteau put it simply, we can say that the kingdoms in which living beings are grouped are a taxonomic classification system of life that inhabits our planet. Do you want to know what they are and their main characteristics? We'll explain everything in this video from Fidel Yuko. One. Plant Kingdom, we'll start with the Planty or Plant Kingdom. This taxonomic group consists of all plants, such as pines, oaks, tulips, palm trees, or bananas. They carry out photosynthesis using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. They can make small movements of their roots or above-ground parts to seek sunlight. They can reproduce sexually or asexually, and require fixed habitats to grow. Two. Animal Kingdom The animal kingdom is the broadest and most well-known. It includes mammals, such as humans, cats, or elephants. It also encompasses birds, reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates. There are over one and a half million species, each with different feeding styles, whether carnivorous, herbivorous, or omnivorous, among others. They can also reproduce sexually or asexually. They breathe oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. 3. Fungi Kingdom The Fungi Kingdom is also known as the Kingdom of Fungi and Yeasts. Some examples include mushrooms like the fly agaric, the devil's cigar, pine fungus, or beer yeast. They live in all kinds of habitats, especially moist and aquatic ones. They do not produce their own food and depend on organic matter produced by other organisms. Additionally, they reproduce via spores, generated through sexual or asexual means. 4. Monera Kingdom The Monera Kingdom was introduced by Heckel in 1986, including unicellular microscopic organisms without a defined nucleus. However, thanks to new identification techniques, it was concluded that some organisms had an independent evolutionary history and were considered two separate groups, archaea and bacteria. Bacteria also include cyanobacteria. They come in different forms, such as cocci, bacilli, vibrios, or spirilla. They lack organelles in their cells and reproduce asexually. They are notable for their decomposing and mineralizing function in their habitat. 5. Protist Kingdom It's not a very well-defined or differentiated group. It includes organisms that cannot be classified into any of the four previous kingdoms. An example is Plasmodium falciparum, the producer of malaria or paludism, Trypanosoma cruzi, the cause of Chagas disease, or Leishmania donovani, the cause of Leishmaniasis. They organize themselves into colonies and mostly inhabit aquatic environments. They can be parasites of humans or animals and can exhibit movement based on their own structure. Do you have any questions left? Would you like us to discuss another related topic? Leave us your comments and don't forget to give us a like if this content has been helpful. Until next time, eco-enthusiasts!